Hello people of New World, it's me Lamani and welcome back to the channel and today I got a saucy little video for you today talking about how you can get a BIS pair of gloves for season one as a healer very very easily right now and all you have to do is have the smoothest brain one brain cell and you can pretty much stand there and do this and pick up a free kill it might take some farming but it's definitely worth it today we are talking joyful gloves these have freedom elemental aversion and refreshing and as a healer these are all three of the best perks you will want in pvp now what i will say is it does lack a resill meaning you would have to play for resill but quite honestly you will be completely fine at for resill i myself and multiple other people that I know that heal in plenty of wars run for resil and you are completely fine, especially coming in next patch. A lot of people debate the four versus five resil. You will be fine at either one. So regardless, this can be a temporary option or a permanent option depending on your preferences. But either way, it is a free way to get three of the best perks you can possibly have in a healing setup. All that you need to do is head over to Brimstone Sands. And if you dive in right over here, just below Helio, there is a small little square rectangle thing here the mob you'll be wanting to fight is right in the middle now in your downtime you can kill a name mob here and a name mob here for some other drops we'll dive into those but you'll be looking at ofus or ofi ofo us ofa is whatever you want to call them and we'll be looking for the joyful gloves all right so here's the drop table for both of this uh he has joyful gloves which are the ones we're going for and frozen hope not great but still another name drop and you could get your topaz gypsum here if you wanted to for the day we have the Catalexendra the wise if you look we have cleric's cowl which could be a two perk replacement just for an initial aoe healer build if you're looking for something and then we have the heart here which is refreshing slash damage and leeching and then the last one we'll be looking at is rafiq of bishara i think i said that right and we have two sword options here the first one protector's fury not that great when we're looking at it but the really solid one is actually guardians resolve with refreshing move corrupted bane thwarting strikes great sword for corrupted expeditions if you're wanting to farm that up as well to do this properly all you have to do is pull and then jiggle back and forth up and down you're going to go up and down on this wall right next to the temple and eventually you'll get them stuck in a spot where they'll just keep running into the sidewall and you can sit there and left click for days and not have to worry about a single thing. It's very easy. You can do this with any of the mobs that you choose to pull. So if you're in your downtime pulling the other two name mobs, you just bring them back to this center point and you just jiggle up and down and up and down to mess with their pathing. Now, I just wanted to end this with a small little section talking about healer meta. We will have a complete video coming out very soon before season one drops. Don't worry. But I just want to talk about perks for PvP. I will be running four Rezil, five if I can get it eventually and dropping Ellie version. But I'll be looking at four Rezil, five freedom. And then you have to play a baseline of five refreshing. And then the rest is up to you. That's my opinion. I'll keep the rest for the big, long, girthy video. But that's my initial impression for some of these changes coming up. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And thank you to every single one of you beautiful people for being you. Peace.